requested system test number 94. I don't get that much time anymore to do system tests and that and that's because of a schedule I'm on. But before we begin, I am joined with Yep. And then, and then on the other end, because this is a this is a funny thing we've got going here. We have Go PJ, but he's not there. But he's connected to an entire different Discord group through like two accounts, and it's like this weird quantum tunneling thing, and it's really cool. No kidding. And this was requested by well the person who's on the call, Go PJ. That's right. So let's begin. system test by the way this is being recorded um, on Christmas Eve I'm not kidding when I say that so for the devices yeah the panel is disconnected and I will and I'll say why I mean why AC powers off that is and if I sound like crap it's because I'm actually sick First of all, we got the Wheelock WST24. He did not request this, but I decided to put it up here. Because the device I would have put would have been this. I know it looks weird. It is my Wheelock MIZ-24. The one from 1991 on my single gang, the double gang trim plate. Yeah. So what did I put in replace? By the way, he said I could do this. This is a rare device. I'm just gonna say this. It is a wheel lock. 712-24. That is right. I have a wheel lock 712-24 and I can confirm that. That is correct. That is the DC version. This is the same one that MSJ 61619, I don't know his username has. So it's not the fire alarm version, it's a general alarm version. Actually it's a telechime, so it's actually made for telephone stuff and whatever, so yeah. And since this is an electromechanical chime, the xylophone piece is not the the, the solenoid is not hitting the xylophone piece right. However you want to say that. <laughs> and then right here we got a sideways Simplex 2901-9838 with my Simplex 2903-9001 light plate. He requested this, but I decided to do this because I'm kind of weird like that. <laughs> and then below that, we got my Gentex SHG connected as a horn-only device. So, and I finally got the MA1224D set on 800 hertz Panel again. And we got my Firelight BG12, which yes, I forgot to reset. Firelight BG12S, which yes again, I forgot to reset. EST270-GAO without the GA switch and then FCI MS6. So, we're gonna ignore that happened, but I do have to reset the panel. Now, before we get started, which pull station should we pull? Uh, the 270. That sounds a good idea. Again, I gotta reset since I pulled those pulsations. Reason I did that is because I was trying to test out the chime because, again, it's not doing right. And I disconnected the system because of that. I wanted to run the chime on the batteries, so that's why. And I do have it resistored right there. So, I don't need hearing protection for this because this is a chime, but my hearing protection is right there. So, 
let's begin in three, two, one. And this will not be flashing because it's being self-coded to March time. I take that back. I know, it sounds a little weird, but... Dang, it's kind of re hard to reset because it has a security screw. And then you know I'm not a fan of the security screw. <laughs> it frays too easily, that's why. So. All right, I'm actually not gonna bother with turning up the fan. And I know my neighbors are gonna love me for not for doing that, so. We're gonna do the 9838, which is on March time, as I said. And let's just call this a no power system test because, oh heck. Yay, no power system test. But apparently my computer's on, so. I don't know. So I'm going to pull the MS6 for this one, and again, here we go. I know it's pretty dark in here, so here we go. Gotta love the 93, eh? And yes, you can hear whatever that is in the background. Alright. This is also being recorded on the iPhone, which I don't know why I'm mentioning that, because I did that in the last system test. So. Well, I guess I know why the LCD shuts down every time I disconnect the power, so. This, and then... I'm trying to rush this, by the way, because, again, I don't get any time anymore to do system tests. And, yeah, so. I'm going to pull this VG12. I know you can't see it. And I should have turned on the flashlight before I did this. Hang on. Aha! It not be if I can find my device before it gets too late. Darn it. There we go. There we go. Now it looks like a no power system test. There's going to be no strobes flashing in this one because, again, I have the SHG wired as a horn-only device. I'm going to put in my hearing protection. Let's pull the Firelight BG-12S. Let's That is actually quite loud. There's a lot of backtracking in system tests. It's true. It's very true. Someday I really want to get a whole house system. And I know a lot of you guys would be excited for that. It'll happen. I just can't do it here because if any of you guys are wondering how come I can't do that. Hence, I think someone actually commented about this. I can't do a full, I can't do a whole house system test because we are not we are not, we did not buy this house. This we are renting this house, and I'm pretty sure the homeowners would not be happy about that. So. Sorry, other people. Okay. 
So we're going to pull the Firelight BG-12 for this one, and then we'll do everything like I always do. All right, here we go. Sorry. In three, two, one. I like how literally the only mechanical horn in this system test is the 9838. Because it makes everything not so loud. At least to me. Alright. I'm going to enable everything. Because that's what I do. So... And everything should be all normal. Hopefully. Oh. I'm a dummy. I forgot. Since there's no AC power, it's not all normal. When is it, when is it ever normal? I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. So, which smoke detector should we activate for this last portion? The 2151. Okay. That's a good idea, because I think I did the Edwards one last time, so. And I just turned on AE lock, which I don't know why I did that. Probably because. Sorry. Alright. Here we go. Brace yourself. Turn off AE lock. Alright. Here we go. Three, two, one. Magnet. Here we go. Three, two, one. You could barely hear the chime through that. Wow. I was going to say, was the chime even on at all? It was. Completely drowned out by everything else. Exactly. That and, again, because the chime isn't working right. It is. It's just, you know. But, lights on. That's going to conclude it for requested system test number 94. Hope you guys enjoyed and sorry if it seemed kind of rushed or anything. But otherwise, we were joined with... Fat Cat. And then... There's PJ and the people in the other group. Yep. And again, thank you to Go PJ for requesting the system test. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.